Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss about the following topic, functions vs mapping. So the first concept is a function. So what is a function? I'm going to use set theoretic definition. So I'm basically saying if I'm giving two sets A and B, which are sets, then I can define the function from, from set A to set B. And what is the function from set A to set B? It basically is saying that if I have two sets, let's say A and B, and I have some my element in my sets, then function is, then I define function as from set A to set B, where for each element in my set A, I'm gonna find the corresponding only one element in set B. So my function is not to map more to the one element. So in other words, I'm saying if I have, if I'm going to have this blue arrow, then this f is not a function. f is a function if for any element x belonging to A, there exists unique element y belonging to B such that y equals f of x. So basically what I'm saying, I'm saying if I'm going to take only, so basically what I'm saying, if I'm going to take any element x here, I can find only one arrow to element y in b. So for example, I want to show that uh, f of x equal x square is a function. So what I want to show, I want to show if I'm gonna take any element x in A, where my function f is uh, from r to, where my function f is from r to r. Then I want to show that if I were gonna take the any element x in R, there is exist unique element y in R, such that uh, f of x equals y. And yeah, you can see indeed this is true, why? Because our function equation is f of x is equals x squared. So, I want to find such x that our f of x is equals to y. But we know that y equals to x square. So from here I can see that my x is equals plus minus square root of y. So basically what I'm actually getting, I'm getting that my function looks something like this. And we're actually gonna get the following picture. This is our parabola y equals x square. And we can see if we're gonna choose one element here, for example, element one in x axis, for this element, we're gonna corresponding only one element uh, y belonging to R. So from here follows that f of x is a function. Okay, we have discussed the function, but let's define what is a mapping. And the mapping, if if is if we have this blue arrow. So what we allow, we we allow from our element x goes not to one element y in B to go to two elements y one and y two in B. And what is one of the example of uh, a mapping? You can see when I was talking about the logarithm of i. And I got the logarithm of i is equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi k i where k is in an integer. And you can see this is a function. Why? Because this is a mapping from one complex plane to another complex plane. Where I'm getting one element i in my first plane. And then when I'm going to map this element to another complex plane by using log function, I'm going to get a bunch of elements which is going to have this form.
So you can see actually our element i is mapping to infinite many elements in complex plane. So from here follows that uh, log of z where z is complex is not a function. And the last I can show is application how to identify if we have function or not based on the graph. In the last I want to show how we can identify if we have function or not based on a graph. If for example we have some shape that looks like this, like a circle, then is a circle a function or not? No, circle is not a function. Why? Because if I'm going to choose this element, for example, one half, uh, assuming that we're given a unit circle, that, that for, then for my element one half, I have two elements corresponding in my y-axis. So this element is not function. So we have a function if and only if for every possible vertical line, our vertical line is going to intersect our graph only in one point. So if for every vertical line we're going to intersect our function only in one point, this means that this is f is a function. Okay guys, thank you for watching.